Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us uh, go through the broadcasting systems and we'll be discussing uh, in detail about a uh, TAB guys. Okay, so what is the meaning of this broadcasting systems? So assume that you want to send a message to a group of members. So if you send this message to each and everyone individually, it is a bit complex, right? Else, if you create a group, so I'm just giving you in terms of our examples. So if you create a group and if you drop your particular file into the group, everyone will receive it, right? Yes. So the concept of sending a single file to multiple users at a single time is nothing but broadcasting will be calling it as guys. Okay. So broadcasting is the simultaneous transmission of the same message to multiple recipients or multiple receivers. Got it? Yes. So here broadcasting systems are unidirectional in nature and distribute information regardless of the need of individual user like TV and radio broadcast systems. Okay. So assume that you turned on your TV guys. Okay, so your TV is connected to a dish. So assume in that way, even it is not connected, assume in that way. So this dish is indirectly connected to a satellite. Okay, so that satellite will get the information from your TV service provider or someone. Okay, so basically that information will be sent here. And this satellite will transmit to all the dishes in this whole world, right? Yes, so it is a broadcasting. But one thing is... Uh, crazy is that it will not check whether your TV is on or not. It will just send it. That's it. You might use it or you might not use it. So basically if your TV is turned on, you can watch them. If not, it will be wasted. That's it. So there is no loss of waste, right? Yes. So that is the reason why you will be just sending it even though it is regardless of even if the device is accepting it or not. Okay. So that is the concept of broadcasting. So if sender sends A, B, A, unidirectional direction media, so you'll be getting it to the all receivers. Got it? Yes. So the two popular broadcasting systems are DAB and DVB guys. That is nothing but one for audio and one for video. Got it? Yes. So digital audio broadcast is one we will be discussing in this lecture and in the next lecture we will be moving on to the DVB guys. Okay. Yes. Okay. So initially there is a huge theory part for this question guys. And one more thing is that I think in our previous year question papers this question is commonly asked guys. Either about DAB or DVB or both like for three marks or four marks or even for seven marks also in one paper right yes so that is the reason why please concentrate on this there is some flow diag flow charts also like how exactly this happens but there is no proper explanation found guys okay so that is the reason why we just giving you an overview and if i find any kind of proper theory i'll be writing it down and i'll be sharing in our groups okay so don't worry about that okay so dab digital audio broadcast Okay, so a digital radio standard for broadcasting digital audio services in many countries. So basically, it's some kind of radio you can say, but worldwide radio. So that is the crazy thing here. Okay, through personal computers or radio cards. So basically, you can listen it from your computer directly if you are having a trans receiver which can receive that signals. Okay, similarly, DAB in Europe is a use uses a Eureka 147 protocol. So basically it uses that protocol and in Asia, like in India and everywhere, it uses IBAC or IBOC protocols. Okay. So it works at a frequency of VHF band 3 that is 174 to 230 megahertz in Europe and Asia and 174 to 216 megahertz in America and UHFL band which is 450 to 860 megahertz. So basically you can remember these values guys because there is no 100% advanced theory for this particular concept. So basically in my mobile computing, the frequencies, the protocols, these are the most important points to be written in your examination. So please try to remember guys because these are the exact bands which will be used even in the DVB also. So if you remember here, you can just write them there also. So that is the advantage here. Okay. Yes. So now let us go through the futures. So the futures are nothing but it is suitable for a new and dynamic services. So even if you want to start some audio service or now, you can use this DAB guys. Okay. So it can be used for audio or songs or traffic information or radio texts. So basically in our radios will be listening, right? So in 99.5 FM or somewhere, you'll be listening songs. You'll be having communication like conversations, call talks. Okay. And all those things, you'll be having traffic information. And all those things you'll be having. So that all is possible because of this DAB only. If it is worldwide. If it is in your local, they will be using some ground wave propagation or something others, right? Yes. So it works on OFDM. 
guys i'll be discussing about this ofdm in the next lecture guys okay so the full form of ofdm is orthogonal frequency division multiplexing okay we'll be discussing in detail about that in our next lecture okay yes so here we, i'll be showing you the sender and the receiver diagrams guys guys the diagram seems to be a bit easy to understand i'll be trying to explain in my own words but there is no proper theoretical concepts which i found like step by step understanding for this particular concepts guys i'll be searching for this as soon as possible and i'll be sharing in all groups guys so don't worry about it okay yes so basically we will be having a dab sender who is sending his voice or something and he will be having a dab receiver who will be receiving the data okay so the main module in this is nothing but the of odfm guys that is nothing but orthogonal frequency division multiplexing okay so if you want me to give you an example so basically ofdm is a nothing but it is also a frequency division multiplexing method in which you will be using close close frequencies guys guys i'll be explaining you this in detail in the next lecture don't worry okay yes so it will be using some kind of tricks with frequency okay yes. so remember it that way for now okay so assume that you are having some voice service or data service so first if it is an audio service you will be audio encoding it so basically audio signals cannot be sent directly right so you'll be converting it into analog signal or any kind of signal and once it is converted you'll be encoding it so you'll be using some channel coders to code it into some other type of format okay so you'll be getting the audio information similarly if there is any data information you'll be collecting them so once you got these data so you'll be multiplexing it okay so once multiplexing is done it is ready for transmission so once the transmission it is ready so then you will be transmitting it with respect to the frequency division that is nothing but orthogonal frequency division okay then you will be passing it to the transmitter and the transmitter will send it to the nearby station and that station will transmit these waves to the outside to the uh, to the surfaces you can say to the in the air you can say okay yes okay so once it is in the air once the receiver receives it so receiver will be waiting for those signals it will receive it okay so once it receives it it will tune the signals so basically the signals will will make may come with some noises right so this tuner will help in reducing or removing solving those noises so once it is done so it will be passing into the odfm demodulator okay so once that demodulation is done the decoding will be started and you will be getting the audio and the packets which you have which the user has sent okay yes so this is a small overview you can say guys if i find any kind of theory about this receiver and sender in a proper structural way i'll be just sharing it guys if you have anything please let me know in the comment section or in our groups so i can help you out okay yes so i hope every, sorry i hope everyone got a clear idea about a dab so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about a dvb guys that is nothing but digital video broadcasting it's also really easy and simple so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching